Thursday night football. Detroit is halftime. They're leading 17 to 7. I don't know. Maybe Green Bay has a chance. I don't know if they, they don't look very good right now. So, Jordan Love, he ain't going to get it done with just 31 yards passing in the first half. Not going to happen. Yeah. What's happening, everybody? I'm Big Pimp. That's Big Mike. We are the Cave Cast. And every time I come on here, I got something to say, and I try to be as positive as I can. But I'm going to tell you right now, I thought I could be positive. But I'm pretty sure that Green Bay is not going to win this game. <laughs> they don't look good right now. They still got two quarters. You never know. They only down what? They gonna have to. I mean, ten. Josh. Josh only down Jacobs, ten. Josh Jacobs just got launched at by Branch. I mean, absolutely launched at. And I'm like, where the f did he come from? I mean, launched. So. It's it's been a it's been a good week as far as you know uh, football goes. You know I was waiting up. Oh, wait a minute, Christian Watson. Hey, he needs to make up for that. Yeah, earlier I don't know if you got a chance to see. It. He just caught a deep pass earlier in the game. Christian Watson turned over the ball because he was being extra, trying to make a play, and never protected the ball. Got, got oh, is that the fumble everybody was talking yeah. about? Yeah, yeah. In the line. So he 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 just made up for it with a with a deep bomb. Uh, didn't score on it yet. Uh, they hadn't anyway. But yeah, he just got a pretty good pass from Love. So uh, it has been a pretty good week for football. Did you watch any of the Browns versus Broncos game? Did you? Mm -hmm. What did you think about that game towards the end? Uh. I mean, I think the Broncos, the Broncos got something. I like, I need to see more from Bo Nix, but yeah. I mean, so far, there, he's not, was, he ain't bad. I don't know what, Jameis, this is the crazy, this is the crazy thing about Jameis Winston, bro. I have never seen a dude be good, but bad at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he threw for almost 500 yards. He had uh Bro, like, hell. He had like a hell of a game, but then he had like a hell of a game. It was horrible. Exactly. That's it, what I'm saying. It's like I, I it get was like what one you're of them up and down games. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, I, I get what you're saying. And, and you know what's funny about that is that <clears throat> they had an opportunity to win that game, and he just he like threw two straight picks and i'm like what in the hell are it wasn't you even just doing? it wasn't even just it wasn't even just two straight picks it was two pick sixes yeah that he that, had in that game. <laughs> listen like and, and there's something that kind of caught my eye about bo Nix in that game though and i don't know if everybody caught it but i just happened to catch it and i think that it's one of the flaws about him that maybe not everybody is talking about. Bo likes to go for that deep shot even when he could take the check down up underneath. Green Bay just scored, by the way. It is now 13 to 17. They still have to kick the extra point. Uh, Tucker Craft just scored a touchdown for Green Bay. So uh, he, I noticed it. He, instead of taking the check down, you know, he decided I'm going deep. And I mean, he threw a bunch of them. And I'm like, I get it. I ain't gonna lie. I ain't gonna lie though. That one pick that got tipped up in the air, that was kind of fluky. I ain't gonna lie. It was fluky, but that it wasn't was fluky. really. Cause it, it wasn't. Because it, it hit him in his hands. Like it hit him right well, there. It, and the ball it, is. If you, if you actually look at the play, uh, so. The corner, uh, uh, he actually gets his hand in there and like hits it at the exact time the ball is getting there, and it just kind of pops the ball up in the air. It was fluky. Uh, Denzel Ward is the guy that made the play on that ball, uh, but I mean he he did it right, right on the money. It was he was there right on time. And Denzel Ward did have a hell of a game that game. 
he had a hell of a game. Uh, but I did kind of notice that there was, that's just one of the things that I noticed and I said, you know, you get into the playoffs, you're gonna have to take, you're gonna have to take those check downs. You're not gonna be able, because you want to, go deep as much as you think. I mean, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I do think that the Broncos do get into the playoffs. Uh, and the AFC West, I think, will be well represented in the playoffs. I don't know about you, but I think the AFC West, you know, out of all the years they talked about how good the AFC West was going to be all those years ago when everybody made all those trades and all that other stuff, this is the year when nobody was thinking about everybody else in the AFC West that the AFC West actually is really, really good. Yeah, I, it's I, just the trash ass Raiders and this dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ladarius, I didn't mean to laugh at that. Sorry. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> no, I'm real dog. Here, here's the deal. So we have a game on Sunday night. Chiefs. Chargers. Uh, and I'm hoping. I am so hoping. I'm gonna do like I want to say, uh, uh, you know. Are you talking please, about Humphreys? Please. They already saying sweet. that. They already saying he's he's more than likely to play. I know that, but that's you know that's that's talk. But I want to say, please, sweet. I mean, that's coming Jesus. from. That's coming from the coaches, though. I get it. But they I want- saying so. But I was the reason why I say that is because they saying unless something like crazy happens, and he has like a huge setback, he's gonna start. God. Unless that happens, so. I heard that Patrick is really, really impressed with this guy, like really impressed with him. Oh, that, that's the that's the crazy thing. He don't even have to be great. <laughs> he just needs to be <laughs> above average. It, I, and look, look that's if he's that's great, that's, that's wonderful. <laughs> but if, that's if he's sad. great, that's that's perfect. But. He just don't. He don't even need to be, bro. He's such an upgrade. Like if he is, like his even his normal self. Mm-mm-mm. He's such an upgrade compared to the other two. It's not even funny. Oh, uh, and because I hate it. You know, it's, I, you know, it's funny. You know, it's funny yeah. real quick. Because uh, Darren Orlowski actually made a good point. Everybody's talking about the Chiefs' offense, right? And Mahomes yeah. has been saying it all year. He's been saying like, you know, I get people talking about how the offense looks, but like. We're right there. If, oh yeah. If the little, if the little things, and it's really the left tackle play. So you it know is. how last year it was our it, it was our receivers. Our, last year it was our receivers weren't necessarily getting open, and then when or they were the getting ball. open, or catching the they ball, weren't catching was, the ball. Yeah. It's the complete. It's the complete opposite this year. Our issue is not receivers getting open. No. Receivers it's, are getting open. Let me let me let me repeat this. Receivers are getting open, and Xavier Worthy. Yes. Listen, I keep trying to tell people. People keep shitting on Xavier Worthy and all this kind of. That dude gets open on a consistent basis, and he creates space. Yeah, you're right. Though what the problem is? That's the problem. It's the tackle, especially the left tackle, because now what's happening is that Patrick can't actually drop into the steps that he needs to. For the timing to, you know, set everything up to be able to throw those passes on time. I don't know about anybody else, but you've got to remember, there's a lot of timing routes in the NFL, in football, period. And if you can't, if you can't go by the timing, three-step drop, two-step drop, five-step drop, if that's off, and you have to throw the ball early, well, guess what happens? It's gonna be an incomplete pass. And the reason why you can't get your steps down is because your left tackle play is so horrendous, so horrendous, that you are having to throw the ball too early. Hey, Dad, look. Uh Uh-oh, we got an interception. Green Green Bay just picked the ball off. Oh, they did? It was in the red zone. Yeah, Green Bay just picked the ball. Yeah, they just picked the ball off. All right, see, well, I told you the game wasn't over. You don't it listen. It wasn't over. I told you. It wasn't over. Well, you know, <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm going to just say this. I, I, I told people I thought Green Bay could win this game, but, eh, you know, they were not looking good in that first half. 
<laughs> man, it was only <laughs> if they was down like seventeen, I'd been like, ah, right, I kind of get uh, it. But ten points, all you gotta yeah. do is score one time, you're in the game. Yeah, but, but no. Uh, go ahead, go ahead. So there was this, there was the play. Remember the play that Mahomes threw it to Kelsey like at the last minute for like two yards. I don't oh, remember yeah, what yeah. quarter it was. Yeah, yeah. But I he, it, he clearly wasn't the number one option. He was just no. throwing it there because he had to hurry up and get the ball out. Yeah. If you look. There was three people open on that play. If you look on the right side, I'm pretty sure it was uh, Carson Steele. He was wide open on the right yes. side. Yes. He, that he was so open, there was literally no defender over there. If he, if Mahomes throws it to him, that's a touchdown. Easy. Yeah. There, I would. It was so open. I was like, bro, there's no way. No yeah. way. And that's and then and I, that's, think, I think Xavier was open on that play as well. It wasn't just him, but and that's that's what the that's what the key open. element is. That's the key element. The key element is the left tackle position primarily. It has been horrific, and it is becoming such a problem to the point where Patrick actually was animated on the field to the point where when he was walking back to the sideline, you can hear him say after Wanye Morris got beat again, he says, it's the same fucking move. And I'm sitting there going, oh, oh, he's, he's piss pissed. He's piss pissed. And yeah, cause those dudes he, weren't even, they weren't even doing nothing special. Honestly. No. And, and, and as soon as he says that, and he goes back to that sideline, guess what we, guess who we don't see anymore on the field. <laughs> <laughs> he's now he's I will not say coming this. back. Oh, I will they say just this, scored though. again. I, they just scored the again. Packers did. Yes, Jacobs is. Yeah, he's telling everybody to be quiet right now. Ooh, we come on, no, Green uh, Bay. No, I will say this though. I do think Reed fucked up benching Kingsley after that first that second game. I don't think he should have <sighs> did that. Because here's the I, thing. I agree and I don't agree. Because there's one here's thing a, I do say when it, was when it comes to rookies. It was a second game. It was. It was a second game. I get it. And he was going, and he was but, going up against Max Crosby. You didn't help the entire game. No, no, no. I, I like, completely on, agree with that part. But here's the one thing I say, the reason why I think you had to do it. It's early in the season and you don't want to get Patrick hurt. Right? You don't want to get him no, hurt anytime. No, I get time. that. But, you don't want to get him hurt no, anytime. I, but, but this is but this is the thing. I get that it's football though. It you is. You don't have a chance to get hurt at any point in the game, regardless you got to tackle or not. True. I just and think that, they. I just think they stunted his growth on that, and they, he's lost his confidence at this point. You ain't gonna. You probably ain't gonna see him the rest of the season. Ain't no telling when we're gonna see him again. Maybe, I do think. Maybe not this year. Yeah, but not here's, this year. But here's the deal. I think, in all actuality, it almost helps him out now. That well, Humphreys at this is point, there. yeah, you can say Now that, that Humphreys yeah. is here. The reason why I say that is because Humphreys is a seasoned vet. He's played the position for some years. He's a pro bowler, former pro bowler. And you need a true pro bowl left tackle to teach this rookie, who's going to be there foreseeably for the future, right? How to get himself ready as a NFL left tackle. You need that. Now, Maybe it hurt him this year, but that's okay. Yeah, I'm really, I'm, re- I'm really referring to this year. Yeah, just this I, year. Not I think, I think wise. in the long run, though, I think in the long run, with the ability that Sumataya has as far as his athletic ability, I oh, think yeah. this guy it, will. He's the most. Yeah, he's the most athletic one on the team by far. It's I think he's. I think he has the chance to be a great left tackle. He just has to get with a left tackle. Or good left tackle coach, or good offensive lineman uh, coach, who's gonna show him the ropes. And, you know, there's always the thing about having a guy who's been in that position for some years, who can show you the ropes, show you the little tricks, the ins and outs of, you know, these little nuances and shit. Look at Gray, look at Noah Gray and Travis Kelsey. But you know what I don't understand though about that? Now look, what you're saying I agree with, but if you were gonna do that, if you were gonna start Kingsley. You could do that, but it doesn't make any sense not to still have a veteran on the team at the same time. No, you're right. The problem was is that, that doesn't make sense one, to me. But they didn't have. That's what one. I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. You could have got. You could have brought back Donovan Smith. You know what I I'm saying? That, but I think didn't... there was. A, I think there was a reason why. And I'm gonna be honest with you. I think this was in the works a long time ago. I think they had their eye on Humphreys a long time ago. 
probably so injury. and they You're said probably okay, right. we we want to bring back a veteran but we're not going to bring back donovan smith because we really want to bring back hump we want to bring humphreys in because we believe he's still a pro bowl caliber left well oh, i think if he's if he's anything what he was before he's better than that. So, if he's if he's 60, the past yeah if he's 60 percent of what he was he's a hundred percent better than what wanya morris is right now <laughs> oh yeah well yeah that's come on now because i'm sorry one yeah dude i have never played left tackle I am undersized, short arms, and I'm telling you right now, I think I probably could have made a better play on that le at that left tackle position than Wanya Morris did. It looked like well, it looked like he fell not asleep. Even, it looked like not he fell only asleep. That, though, but he's not even really a left tackle. He's a right. He's tackle. not. He's not. But he's a right tackle. Is, he is. But even at that, it's effort. The, oh no! I, yeah, I agree. That was I, one of the one things I said was his effort. His effort didn't even look. No, it just didn't look good, man. And you know what irritated me about that is I'm thinking to myself, you know that this is the blind side. Patrick is a right-handed quarterback. He can't see that side. You have you can't let that happen. You cannot let those type of things, those type of mistakes. Can I? I get it. Maybe once, maybe twice in a game but the last two weeks you've given up how many fucking sacks oh yeah that's not that is no and i can understand why patrick is pissed because i'm like mother hey how many more times do i gotta get my fucking bell rocked because you can't keep, get your shit together how many more times hey i'm gonna just I say this <laughs> if, if, if humphreys if he comes out and he's he's solid Right. Yeah. Yeah. The league done got done fucked up. Yeah, I think if Humphreys is solid, like I said, if he's, he's solid, man, that changes tell the whole offensive and, line. And Pacheco back too. Yep. I will man, say. You know this. They say. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, go ahead. I was. I, I can. I no, can. I was. I was just gonna say. Uh, even with Charles Omenihu, bro. Mm -hmm. He was such a boost to the defensive line that last game. Oh, yeah. It's like night and day. Yep. Like, that was the first time Chris had multiple sacks all year. Isn't that something? That's crazy. Isn't it something what happens when you bring in a real edge rusher, a guy who is But you know problem. what it is? But I, but I also think it's fatigue, too. All those dudes are tired. Like, well, yeah. Because there's no... There's no, and I get Uche is there, but he's kind of new, so he's not. He's still getting the, he's still getting the hang of things. But like now you got a, now you got a group of guys that you can interchange in and out. Yeah, it's not just it's not just gonna be George, and Uche, yeah. or, you know, Mike Dana. It's a dude that's already gonna be playing on the defensive line everywhere else anyway. Yeah. So now you got a group of dudes that you can kind of inter, you know, interchange and stuff like that. So I, I think that's gonna be a huge. They got a little bit of a timeout on the field. Uh, Green Bay is up 21 to 17. If you guys are not watching, they are on Prime. If you don't have Prime, you need to get it. They've had a bunch of good games this season. I'm sorry. They, they've done their thing this year. Uh, but right now, they're a little bit of timeout. It's the Lions are third and eight. Uh, Green Bay is up 21 to 17. And just so everybody knows, I want to say thank you. Mike wants to say thank you. We've had a lot of success with uh, people frequenting the channel. Uh, and I would like to say thank you to everybody that has tuned in and subscribed to our channel. We want to keep making the channel, uh, you know, where people come in, they feel comfortable or they like what they see. We, we've we been trying to make this channel. I mean, we I think we're almost to 1,100 subscribers. And the one thing about it is, I didn't think we would get to this point this early. Uh, our views we we want we want our views to be you know still higher uh but i am happy with the results as far as the subscriber count and people coming on and checking us out uh we've got a lot of good positive feedback so i want to say thank you to everybody that has subscribed and if you haven't subscribed and this is your first time please remember to hit the subscribe button and that notification bell it just lets you know when new content from the channel has come out and Whenever you guys come on, if you have a question or a comment, leave it in there. That way we can, you know, 
look at those and if we get a chance if it's something like a good question or something that we haven't talked about before we like to you know maybe do a show around it so uh Uche, back to the to the, to the chiefs and the, the one thing i'm wondering about Uche, if, if i'm almost wondering if the reason why he hasn't really you know been able to put a lot of pressures uh, as far as that goes is because maybe he's playing out of position. I know he was playing on. I don't know of, the man. The, the, few, the, the few play, the few plays I've seen him in, he was getting pressure. Well, I don't know if I'm. What I've seen, he was no, definitely he, getting pressure. He had some pressure, but, but he hasn't played it, a lot either. So it's just like that. That was that was my other question. Is it going to be because he's out of position? Because they're not, you know. Well, Spags did say. Spags and Chris Jones did say that uh, a minute who played way more than he was supposed to. God, man, he did play they, a lot of snaps. They said that he, because Spags was saying he's way further along than what they actually thought initially during the game. So he's actually ahead of schedule, and that's why he played a lot more than he was supposed to. And I, I, I have a, that makes sense because I think he was saying uh, earlier before that he was saying how he wanted to get Uche a little bit more in the game or whatever. But when you got Charles doing what he was doing, there's no was, point. You didn't really need. Hey, you didn't really need to, honestly. Like that dude was making a big time difference on that defensive yeah, line. He definitely was. He did make a big time difference on that defensive line, and I can just tell you, to me, I don't know. If I was happier to see a mini hue and the way he performed, or if I was happier to see Pacheco and the way he performed. Because Pacheco had that run, man, and I was like, oh my, Pop is back. (laughs) Man, I'm telling you. (laughs) You know what's crazy? I think they said, I think they were saying uh, a mini who had like a 16% pressure pressure rate. rate. That's the highest. That's the highest. Nobody else, nobody else besides Chris Jones has more than ten. Yeah, that's insane. That's, and his first game back, that's insane. Yeah. So, and, and I think it actually helped Karloftis as well because Karloftis was everybody. actually, yeah, he he was actually being able to get pressure on the QB. So, uh, it, it was good to see those guys back. Man, I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, because we still have a couple of guys out with injuries, right? Uh, you still have Watson. Uh, Jalen Watson, uh, who had a broken bone, lower leg. It was like right close to where the ankle bone, it was the tibia and the fibia. So his both bones had broke together. And then <clears throat> you also have Marquise Hollywood Brown, who's coming back from a uh, CV joint surgery. So they're saying Hollywood could possibly be back by week 16 or 17. I don't know which one it's going to be. I don't think anybody knows really. But I'm hoping for good news and we get to see him before the season ends. You know, get some runs in there. Get him, you know, see what he looks like. Uh, So we'll see. We'll just have to wait and see. But man, I am also at the point where I am tired of these close games. (laughs) I mean, mean, honestly, I get it. I mean, I... I get, I, get people's, I, get, I get people's, I get people's, I get people's gripes, but it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not because of the Super Bowls we want to blow out. No, it, it's saying. not because of their close. I think what I'm tired of is hearing all the chatter that comes with it. The Chiefs, no, no, I like it. No, 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 no. no. <laughs> I like it. Please keep doing it. Please keep doing. Hey, everybody, everybody keeps saying, saying how the track the Chiefs is trash. They're gonna be bounced out the first round. That's not the chatter. Not the- that's not the chatter I'm worried about. What you talking about? So, I'm so tired of hearing about how it's a conspiracy that the Chiefs ah. win, and it's Get so here, it's guy. so bad that these people make up shit and they believe yeah. this shit. It's. It's or amazing. You even got people on ESPN saying this shit. shit. I can't believe it. And I think that's oh, why my. I'm tired of it is because, you know, I do a lot of, how should I say, I do a lot of evaluating of the game, right? But I also do my homework by watching other channels 
and even the pros, ESPN, Fox Sports, you know, I, I listen to all this stuff. And even some of them, these talking heads, who come out and say some of the wildest shit, and I'm like, is this what we're really doing now? Is this how, this is, this is, this is real sports talk, right? Listen. Wait, I'm just, I'm just hey, this goes, hey, hey, this goes, hey, this, this goes, goes with the video, video bro. <laughs> this goes with your point. Hold on, this goes with your point. So I'm on Twitter, right? And this girl, this girl, she tweeted and shared this post. I guess somebody got injured during the the bike or the the Packers and the Lions game, and she said. As a, As a Chiefs, Chiefs fan, it's so difficult to watch, to watch one of your own go down, prayers up. And I'm like, <laughs> what's she talking about? <laughs> it was a ref. It was a referee. It was a referee. And that's what's, that, this is what's disheartening, right? Is that these people are it's drinking the... Fan, though, right? it's I get that's it. That's funny as hell. But I'm sorry. She's doing it. She's doing it. Out, she's doing it out of, you know, being a, she's being a, a little bit of an ass, which I find, a, a, you know, I find it humorous. But it's the other ones they're no, really no. they're really drinking the Kool-Aid. I'm like, really? This is how desperate we are. This is how desperate you are because your team lost to a team. Listen, the Chiefs are back-to-back -back champs. What did you want from them? Did you want them to be super bad this year? Is that was that gonna make you happy? That they did you want them to be so horrible that they couldn't even make it to the playoffs? Did you want Patrick Mahomes to get hurt? Where the team, the team was. And you know what's crazy? I, I oh, man, truly believe they do. I truly believe these oh, are. Some, they, this is some of the people. And this is how they think. You know, you know what's crazy? crazy? So, so I know I, I told you about this, this. bro. They, they keep, keep talking, talking about, about how this was Mahomes' bad, bad year and he had a down year and all this crap. crap. Yeah, but, but they're dick riding Josh Allen, who has identical stats. They're identical. Mahomes has like five more interceptions. Okay, whatever. And then, of course, you got the Russian. You got the Russian shit. Obviously, Josh Allen don't have that. But people not looking at that. They're looking at the quarterback stats. Yes. Mahomes has more yards, one less touchdown. You would think. And I don't think the Bills. You would think that Josh Allen had like forty-five touchdowns and three interceptions on. Exactly. Wait, the Bills haven't had their – have they had their bye week? I'm not sure. Uh, I think they have. I think, yeah, they, I think they, they just had it. Josh Allen they got just engaged. Yeah, he got engaged on his bye week during the bye week. Right, right. Okay, so, so – But I'm just saying, like, come on, y'all. They tell me this is – Josh Allen looks amazing. Bro. Mm, I, I don't know. He's got know. one more touchdown. One. Uh, the Detroit Lions have just scored – uh, they're up 23 or 24, 24 to 21. It's five minutes left to go in the third quarter. So it's a, it's a pretty good game right now. Pretty close. Nobody's ran away with it yet. So, uh, but you're right. You are absolutely right. This is the craziest thing I've ever seen. And you know what? It's a better fact. What's funny about this is that even Tom Brady comes out and says, the He's reason, been de hey, all these all these Patriots players been defending the Chiefs. And it was just Tom. It's but why, everybody. But why? But why do you, yeah, but why do you think Bro, that is? Everybody. Why do you think yeah, that that's is? Insane. Why do you think that is? Because they, they, they literally been through it. Exactly. They know exactly what the Chiefs are going through. Championship, They've been through this exact same thing. Championship caliber teams or teams who have won multiple championships, or even one. They understand what it means and what kind of work you have to put in and what kind of shot you get from everybody, everybody, every night, every time you play. It doesn't matter if that team is one in fucking 16 or, or one in 12 or whatever, or if they're 12 and one, you're going to get Bro. the best shot from every team, especially since you're the back to back champs. Bro, Josh, Josh Allen's not even Simple in the as that. top 10. Yeah, he's not, he's even, not even in the top 10. 10. I don't have a problem with people rooting for Josh or thinking that he's a great quarterback or hell. It's, even, it's not get, that, get, but it's, it's, the, it's the hypocrisy. It's the hypocrisy, it is, though. It is, but you know what? You, Mahomes is having a bad year, but he has, has bad, he has. More, the only thing really Josh has is that he has less interceptions. That's it. Like, it ain't about like a crazy go, amount. They're going to go by 
the simple fact that Josh Allen is winning, number one, and number two, they are playing very good football. I can't knock them for that. The Chiefs are winning too. Exactly. The, but the problem is, is you know, it's like when Jordan was in the league, right? And Jordan was whipping everybody's ass. And he was winning these MVPs. But, you know, they got sick of Jordan. They got sick of Jordan, right? They decided, you know what? We're just going to give the MVP to somebody else this year. It's because they got, you know, fatigue. It was Jordan fatigue. They got tired of, you know, and it's the same thing with the Chiefs. It's fatigue now. They've gotten to the point where now they are tired of the Chiefs. Listen, I get it. I understand I was there with the Patriots, but I understood also that that was greatness. They, There's not a, teams that just do that on a regular I just don't basis. see, and look, I get it. Lamar has more losses, but I don't see how you can put, we're talking quarterbacks. How can you put Josh Allen ahead of him quarterback-wise? Bro, bro, he, he has, has... He's got the same stats got, Lamar had last year, basically. He's got the same stats, basically, Lamar had last year when Lamar won the MVP. But, but, Lamar, what, what, but, he, but Lamar is better this year. And it's I get it. Open. I get it, but I'm just saying... He's, Lamar, got, 20, he's, he's got, got 29 touchdowns and three picks. Yeah. And he's second in passing. Yeah. And he has a higher passing percentage or a completion percentage. Higher QB. Like, what are you talking about? Well, out, and then I mentioned they blew them out earlier this year. They blew the Bills out. Yeah. Well, that and there's the problem, though, is that people don't want to give Lamar what? his credit. People don't want to. They don't want to tell you that Lamar is the second best QB in the league. They want to give it to somebody else like Josh Allen or Joe Burrow. Right? Hell. I don't understand. I don't understand. I don't understand how Josh Allen, you know, look, if he's if he's as good as everybody says he is, right? And we're supposed to believe this. Fine. Give him the MVP. See what happens. Bro, Bro, Lamar has has more rushing rushing yards. Man, yeah, oh yeah, he does have more rushing yards. Lamar's having a fantastic season. The problem that they're having is not because of Lamar Jackson. It's really because their defense is not that great. No, I get that. And like I said, I I get it. I get it that, you know, the Bills are, what, 11 and 2? Yeah. Or 10 and 2, something like that. I don't know. And then then obviously the the Ravens have lost five games. But I'm just saying, if we're talking about MVP, who's having a better year? It would, it would be different, different in terms of, like if, if there's if the numbers was closed, then you would have to go with Josh, with Josh Allen because obviously his team is yeah. playing better. But, but when we're when we look at the numbers, it's not a lot, bro. It's not close. No, it's not. And that's the thing. That's the thing that irritates me about it is that I'm sitting here and I'm thinking to myself, hmm, what else can I possibly think of that would make it seem like Josh? Al- oh. Well, they just beat the Chiefs, so they've got to be the best team in the league. He's got to be the, the the odds in favorite to be the MVP, right? You see how that kind of works? You beat the Chiefs. Yeah. You beat the Chiefs, so now you got to be the exactly. Best QB. You got to be the best QB. Listen, and they, and they do it every year. They every do it year. every because it, it happened to him last year. Exactly. The only reason why he did this because he lost. Who did they play? The Bills lost. Um, who was it? I can't, I can't remember, but they, but they had, had lost to somebody at the, at the end of the season last year, year, and I don't think Josh played that well, and that's well, why he lost his. You know, I actually think, think I actually think last year Josh, Josh I, I think he should have won last year. Well, there was but he part, didn't have the record. Yeah, he didn't have the record. Well, the, it wasn't yeah. that they went on a big win streak. It was like a really long win streak, right? Because uh, they started off not very good, then they went on that long win right. streak right and uh they had got rid of their offensive coordinator and went with a different offensive coordinator and they were running the ball a lot more trying to simplify the offense to make things easier for josh think the ways to manage it and shit and they did they went on a big win streak whatever but hey that's neither here nor there this year it has been harder for people to understand that a team that is 11 and 1 Yes, they had a slip up against uh, Buffalo, 
But Josh Allen, he's a great quarterback. I will not take that from him. But I also know that Lamar is, his numbers are better than Josh's. And, oh, yeah. and, I, and I take that, I take that back by him when he should have won last year. That man had 18 interceptions. I take that back. Yeah, that's why I said they, they took the ball out of <laughs> his hand as the year went on because the offensive coordinator changed and they wanted to put the ball in the running back's hand a lot more. So, mm-hmm. uh, but like I said, it, no matter what we do, right, we're always going to be criticized as far as being Chiefs. And right now, everybody wants to hop on the Buffalo Bills bandwagon. Right? Please, please do it. Please, please do, do it. They want to hop on the Buffalo Bills bandwagon. And you know what? I'm going to be honest with you. I, I have uh-huh. never, ever liked the Buffalo Bills, but it makes it even harder to even root for them a little bit just for the simple fact, because we know how much they've lost when it comes to Super Bowls, but it makes it harder to root for them now because when I watch people who for some reason or not, they hate the Chiefs. I mean, tell me when the Chiefs were relevant at one point that you guys cared so goddamn much that you hate them so much now. Name a time Man, when they were, name, name a time when they were that relevant that you had to hate them that much that now that they have become good, now you have to hate them just because you you're just tired of hearing about the Chiefs. That's, that's you know, what it is. That's but, all you, it is. but you know what's funny about that is if it was your team winning, then you would understand where we're coming from when we hear people say these things. Listen, I hear Dallas Cowboys fans, fans talk shit about the Chiefs all the time. You know what's funny? Is that the Cowboys were relevant. They won five championships. We them boys, America's team, even though I, you know, hell, I don't remember where I, where the fuck I was at when we voted on who America's team was at. But listen, I don't hate the Cowboys because they were good. I hate the Cowboys because I don't fucking like the Cowboys. <laughs> it, it's nothing against Dallas itself, but I mean, hell. I seen them on TV all the time. They used to black out games just so they could play cowboy games in the, in the local area. I'm like, I don't want to watch these dudes. I don't want to watch them. But that was how it worked. So maybe that's what's happening. Maybe you guys are seeing a lot of the Chiefs everywhere, even on the East Coast. Maybe you don't want to see the Chiefs because you want to watch the Giants. But I really don't understand that oh, shit. Man, that don't even make no sense. sense. The Giants yeah, are no. fucking horrible. <laughs> hey, so on top of on top of Lamar's passing stats, he's got he's got uh, six hundred and seventy eight rushing yeah. yards. Yeah, I want to say he's almost at seven hundred yards. And then he's got he only got three touchdowns, but yeah, he's got that. But Josh Allen, he's only got three hundred and thirty four rushing rushing yards. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and six, and six touchdowns. touchdowns. That's, what That's what I'm saying. saying. He's got almost 700 yards, and then he's second, second in passing. Where Josh, Josh is not even in the top ten. ten. But you know what they'll say? They'll say, they'll say, it's, because, they'll say it's because they'll say it's because they're winning. That's what they'll and say. And that's what I'm saying. They'll say so it's you because they're if winning. You, if you're going to say that, if you're going to say that, then you can't exclude Mahomes in the MVP conversation. Mm, yeah, I, I, that's my point. Yeah, and that's what that's, I'm that's saying. That's my point. Though. I don't think you can exclude Patrick, even if he doesn't win it. You can't say it. that Josh is number one. They, they're saying Josh is, is in, in, he's the runner up for MVP right now. Yeah, he's the number one. Him and Saquon are kind of like neck and neck, right? Yeah, it's, it's really going to be. I don't Josh know. He's quarterback, I don't know how because Saquon is the reason why that team is winning. I'm, I'm telling you, hey, he's, you ain't got to tell me. Yeah, yeah, he is the but, main reason. I'm just saying though, if you're gonna have Josh in that conversation, you gotta have Mahomes. And I would even say there's other quarterbacks that could be in that conversation. As well. well, no, because ain't nobody else winning like those two. No, they ain't winning like that. Yeah, uh, that's true. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, he would be the only one then. Yeah, you know, outside he, of Lamar, of course. Here's the funny thing, though, as a, as a fan of football, right? I've watched <laughs> a ton of a ton of quarterbacks come into this league, and a lot of them, you know, they were good, they were very good, they were great. Okay, not all of them, but there were some. There's a lot of times I watch quarterbacks who should have won the MVP, 
and they didn't, right? We know that this has happened. There's no, it's no secret. It's happened, right? That year that Aaron Rodgers won, I think Mahomes should have won that year. Don't he get me started. He should have. Don't get me started. He should have. He should have. Uh, there was a, well, I, I, say a, I want to say there was a year, I'm trying to remember what year it was, but Drew Brees had a fantastic year one year. He did not win MVP. You talking about the one Mahomes won? No. I want to say it was his first one. Because I remember, no, 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 no. remember everybody no. was saying that he should yeah. win that year too. He did have a good season, but. But it, but it wasn't Mahomes, Mahomes season. <laughs> no, no. But it was it was before that. It was before Mahomes ever came in the league. Uh, but I do oh, remember. Okay. I'm trying to remember what year it was. But I want to say he came in second in the MVP runner up or something like that. But and it's probably one of the mere through for like five thousand yards. Yeah, I want to say this he did dude, it like three or four times. He had a fantastic season, but we know that it doesn't always happen that way. And the one thing about voter fatigue is that it comes so rampantly because teams. The, the sports reporters or the, 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 the beat reporters, whoever it is that votes on this shit, whoever's got a vote, right? They decide who the MVP is going to be. And a lot of times they'll do this because, well, I voted for Lamar last year, right? What's wrong? What's, what's that look for? No, because no, I'm looking at Drew. Didn't Aaron, Aaron Rodgers run in 2011, right? If I remember right, yes. Bro. Bro. Drew Brees had almost 5,500 passes. That's yards. the year. That's 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 the year. 46 touchdowns, and now he had 14 interceptions. But if yeah, you throwing for 5,500 yards, and you got 46. That's touchdowns, the year. That's the year I was. Gonna I mean, say. Let me look at. Let me look at Rogers. He had a. There's no way. He had a hell of a season. I'm just. I think that it was. It was that year because I want to say it was because the, the year they won the Super Bowl too, right? That year they won. Yeah, the that Super was the year. That was the year the Packers won. Yeah, and so that's what I'm saying. I I was really like, man, this Drew Brees is having a hell of a season. But we all know it. It happens. A, this, this is, is tough, tough though. though. This, this is a yeah. tough one though. So, so Rodgers had 4,600 yards, 45 touchdowns, but six picks. Yeah, I get so it. So it's kind of. But think about this. It could have went either way. He threw all. He threw for almost a thousand more yards, though. That, that is true. true. He that threw for true. almost a thousand more yards than Aaron Rodgers did. How many touchdowns? Did Rodgers had? How many touchdowns did Rodgers have? How many touchdowns drew? Who? How many touchdowns? He only had forty-six. He had forty-six, right? Forty-six. He had forty-six touchdowns, and he had almost a thousand more yards. But, but you gotta look at it. You gotta think of it the opposite way too, though. You can you can you can make an argument. Oh, I get it. I get it, and that's why he I said threw. He threw, threw for the same amount of touchdowns, pretty much. Yes, but on th- a thousand less yards. Yes. So he was but more he, efficient. And here's with the, his, you know. Here's the thing. He also he had scored a, more efficiently. He also had a hell of a receiving core up in Green Bay too. I agree. I don't know who who was receiving who was Drew Brees receivers that year. I, uh, I want to say Horn was still there if I remember right. I'd have to look it up, but I do think Horn was still there. Uh, there was a couple of guys, but man, uh, that's, that's a hell of a race, right was there. Was Graham was Graham there? I think Graham. I think Jimmy Graham was there. Yeah, yeah he probably remember. was. was but like what I'm saying is, is that at that time there could be the argument for Drew Brees to be the the, the fucking MVP because oh, of what yeah, for the, sure. what he did. But like I said, it, it never ends the way you think it's going to end most times. And there's always the argument for another guy. There's always the argument for another guy. And a lot of times. Hey. Don't, Don't let the Chiefs, Chiefs go out and, and win out the rest of these games, and then Mahomes go crazy. The last four games. Yeah, if this left tackle situation gets fixed and they find they have a great four left tackle, games. man, I'm telling you right now, this is going to change a lot of things. If 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 Humphreys is good, watch what happens. If Humphreys is good, watch man, what happens. Man, I, I I hope I hope Mahomes goes scorched earth the rest of the whole way. The whole I, the offense. Let me ask you something, because somebody brought it up to me, and I know we we were talking about MVP, and we were talking about how people get tired of certain teams. Do you remember when Seattle was winning and Russell was there? Uh, Green Bay just scored again, taking the lead. I got the Huh? 
No, I'm saying we still got five games. I don't know why. Yeah, four. But when Seattle was winning, do you remember those battles where, you know, Seattle, people were, they were pretty much tired of Seattle. People were tired of hearing about them. People didn't like Sherman, you know, Richard Sherman. Uh, you know, they didn't like uh, Peace Mode either. No, they, do you remember how that worked? You know, how people hated them. And, you know, now, as time has gone on, you know, you don't hear a bunch about them. They were one of the better defenses in the league, at, you know, for a long time. Uh, oh, yeah. Earl and them. And, yeah. And Bobby, Bobby Wagner. Wagner and all yeah. Them. But you don't hear a lot. But, but at that moment in time, you did. You heard a bunch of people didn't like them. Right. Even me, I thought that eh, Sherman kind of was, you know, he was kind of rough. You know, he talked a lot of shit. You know, I remember when he was talking about <laughs> When he was talking about I liked him because I wanted them. I wanted them to beat the goddamn Patriots, man. Remember, remember when he I was? Him. Yeah, remember when he was talking shit about Michael Crabtree? When you try me with a with a weak receiver? Oh uh, like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. That's I'm probably one, crazy. That's probably one of the best TV moments in sports history ever. <laughs> oh my god, that, that was shit funny. Was, that shit lot. was hilarious. But. Do you think that th this is funny. this is why I say people get tired of certain things and they just, uh, I don't like them and you know, I wish somebody would beat them and you know, and then it's be now it's a mantra, right? Everybody wants everybody to beat the Chiefs, right? No matter who it is, right? And if it's your team, oh, you're where you're really all for it, right? But everybody wants their team to beat the Chiefs, even people who don't even have a team. They just watch football. They just man, I just wish somebody would beat the Chiefs. This is how you know you're good. This is how you know you're the shit. This is how you know your team is doing the right fucking things. Because now everybody hates you. Everybody. And it's the same thing in life. When you're good, let's say when you're great, people want you to fail. They build you up. This is, this is, this is just what society does. We build them up. We root for them until they get to the point where now they are great and they're winning or they're doing great things. And then we get tired of them. And then we want to tear them down. Mm -hmm. how, how, sick, how sick are we in the head? <laughs> how, no, fucked, I agree. how fucked up are we? And it's yeah, true. I've never, no, I don't really like that. Unless it's a player, player I don't like. As, but like, even the as Warriors, a society. They did the same thing. But they did the same thing to the Warriors, though. Yes. They did the same thing to the Warriors. Mm hmm. People hated the Warriors. Like, they hated Steph. They couldn't stand Draymond. They didn't like Clay. Nope. But yeah, it's the same shit. And that's why I said it's it's a fatigue thing. We, we get tired of hearing about it. It depends on the team, though, because I don't remember anybody hating the Spurs. Uh, well, you know they what? They didn't win as consistent, though. They didn't win as consistent. Though. It wasn't. I don't think it was the reason why they. It wasn't anybody that hated the Spurs. Because how could you hate somebody like Tim Duncan who never talked? Exactly, but that's why I said it depends on the person, right? you know, like the leader of the team. With Patrick, and even Greg Popovich, Greg Popovich is very, he's very, he doesn't, he doesn't speak. Does, he doesn't say a lot, but, but even with Patrick Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes is very vocal and he tries to say the right thing. He's saying that. No, but I'm saying he, saying he doesn't say the wrong things, but you know, there are people out there who are going to hate you even when you are, you know, trying to do the right thing. Yeah, I'm saying, how can you hate Andy Reid? No, no, no. Think about it. Everybody loves Andy Reid. His players love him. His ex-players love him. The league loves him because he's a lovable person. You know, he's the big, you know, guy who's always wanting to eat a cheeseburger. He he I, says bro, he, bro, he says fumble ruski and he, he, he says how fun it is to do certain things. He's a grandpa. He's an old, lovable man who loves football. He loves his players. Everybody loves Andy. Who they don't like are guys like Patrick Mahomes who are squeaky clean. You know why they hate guys like them? Because they are always doing the right thing. They say the right things. And you know what happens with people? They're like, I just can't stand that guy. You know how that, that comes right. out? They say it like that. And the reason why they say it like that is because they just can't believe somebody is that clean and right. that good. You know what I'm saying? Bro, I'll be watching I'll be watching little uh like these dudes that be doing like YouTube reaction with the Chiefs, like dudes yeah. that don't like the Chiefs. Yeah. And bro, they be calling this nigga Mahomes. They be calling them uh 
they be, they be, they be calling them like devil magic and shit like that. They be like, go that goddamn devil magic again. I'm like, bro. But do you see what I'm saying? How stupid is it? It's they the, hate, these conspiracies. Bro, they hate Mahomes. Yeah, now, yeah, I've, heard hate Mahomes. I've heard everything. I've heard everything. They think it's some type of. They think it's some type of like he got some type of curse on people or something. This should be crazy. Y'all gotta stop this. This should be wild. Listen, <laughs> this should be listen, wild. YouTube, America. Y'all gotta stop this shit. How? Listen, man. Look. As much evil as there is in the world. And we see it all the time. To have somebody who is generally a you know a good guy or good girl, whoever it is, I want you to root for those people. Don't hate those people, right? We, I get it. Yes, he plays for the Chiefs. Yes, he wins a lot. Yes, he's you know maybe he's the luckiest mother on the face of the earth. Who cares? I love, I, I, even if Patrick Mahomes didn't play for me, I think I would probably still root for the guy because he's a good dude. It's just like Tim Tebow, right? I don't, I wasn't a fan of Tim Tebow as a QB, but he's a good dude. He's always trying to do the right thing. He's always giving back to the community. The only thing I didn't like about him was that he played for the damn Broncos at one time. <laughs> so, <laughs> but that's the thing. We, as a, as, a, as a people, I don't know what it is about our society. We, we tend to do this type of shit, right? We tend I, I to, don't know. to tear people I don't know, down. Man, cause like, I don't know, man, because I, I couldn't stand, stand Tom Brady. Brady. I, I could not stand, stand him. I didn't, but, but you know what's funny? funny? Now, I have like a weird, weird respect for Tom Brady at this point. It's, it's weird. weird. That's, you know why you do? Because it's weird. Because you don't have to face him anymore. <laughs> well, I mean, that's part of it. But no, like, I, I really do. Like, I really do have a newfound, like, well, it's not really newfound. It's been like this for a while. But, like, yeah, I definitely have a newfound respect for Tom Brady. I respected I Tom Brady because of The quarterback he was. Yes. I didn't know, because I didn't get to, you know, I wasn't into the whole New England thing whatever. I will tell you what I did find, though, that I thought was his most impressive feat out of everything that he did as far as the football field goes. When he went to Tampa Bay and they won that Super Bowl and what he did after leaving you New England. Lights uh, up. Hey, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah he, he dominated. dominated that dude that was a dominant force and he showed it when he left New England to go to Tampa Bay and they did what nobody you know, thought that it was. It's really doing. a it's, it's really unfortunate, unfortunate that, like, and I'm, and I'm not saying the Chiefs would have won had their line not got hurt. But yeah. I, and not, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even refer, referring to, like, them winning, but, like, it's, it's really unfortunate we didn't get to see that back and forth that game. But you know what I did I do hear? think, I do think, I do think, like, if Mahomes had his line, I think the game would have been closer than what it actually was. Because it was a blowout damn there pretty much. I mean, it wasn't, the game wasn't close. But, but I, I think they would have. I think they would have been. It would have been, been a dog fight. Yeah, I think. I think. I think we was kind of robbed of that, honestly. You know what? I and that's not me saying that the the, the Bucks one is still won. I'm just saying, like, I think we was kind of robbed of that, for sure. Here's one thing I'll say: is this during that time when we lost in that Super Bowl, and you know all of our <laughs> offensive linemen went down in the playoffs and shit. It was, yeah, that was crazy. You know, the whole time that that happened, you know, we were getting ready to play that Super Bowl, and then we didn't do very well in that Super Bowl as far as that goes. You know, not one time did I think it's a goddamn conspiracy. They would just want Brady to win, so they made sure that all no, the fucking players it, got it, hurt. it didn't have – hey, that's a good point because none of us – it, it had nothing to do with, like, you know, Tampa Bay cheating yeah. or the Rebels – Calling no, shit they shouldn't have been calling, and no, we just, just got our we got our ass whipped. It was yeah, simple as that. Ass and our our line was just depleted, man. Yeah, like we, people keep comparing. You know, you know what makes me mad? Because people keep comparing like our line this year to that line. Yeah, and they're like, well, because I seen somebody bringing up. I can't remember who it was, but he was like. We've, We've seen, seen what happened to the Chiefs when they didn't have a line, you know, with Tampa Bay. But there is a difference, though. We had because five our entire hours, line was yes, hurt. It wasn't completely just, gone. It wasn't just one. It was, it was the, the entire line. Everybody, yeah. the entire starting five, was hurt. 
And you know, the last this one is to go out. One guy. The last guy to go out was Eric Fisher at left tackle. Exactly. He was the last one to go out, and he went out in the championship, the AFC championship game. Uh -huh. So he was the last one to go out. And after he went out, he was the anchor because he was the guy that actually would watch Mahomes' back, you know, right? He was the, the blindside guy. After he went out, it made it more difficult for Patrick to do any of the things he, would, he really wanted to do. He was already scrambling a lot any god dang way. But left tackle goes out, that makes it extremely almost impossible, especially when you got, you know, that defense that was coming on you, coming at you, and Tampa Bay's defense was really good that year. They were really yeah, good. Yeah, and didn't yeah, yeah because Mitchell Schwartz was hurt that year. He ended up yeah. getting hurt earlier. He was hurt. He got hurt year. earlier. Yeah, he got hurt earlier. In and the and then our backup, the backup to him, got hurt. Yep, we lost th four guys during the playoffs. Four That's guys. Crazy. So, I mean, it is what it is. But like I said, you didn't hear a bunch of Chiefs fans saying, "Yeah, we we lost because they pulled some voodoo." Uh, magic out of no, the ass just our Tom ass Brady to win and all this <laughs> other shit. No, we didn't do that. But for some reason, you hear that shit now. And I just can't honestly, believe honestly, if, that they, we are that if the Chiefs, if the Chiefs would have caught a, a couple of those balls, mm. this is a different ball game. It would have been. There was a couple of them. There was a couple of them that they just catch them. Yeah. Hey. But you know what the so, old yeah, saying? Just... If if was a fifth, we'd be drunk. But we ain't. No, <laughs> so, that's true. So, so no, I mean, that's I mean the, the, that's the way you have to look at it. And and get and think about it. They lost that game, that Super Bowl, and all it did was make them better, right? It I made agree. them better. So we we lost one. Hey, and that was a war. we lost one. That was a loss. That was just a L we had to take. You know, hey, sometimes you sometimes you gotta take an ass whooping. It's just like when we <laughs> lost to Buffalo a couple weeks back. Sometimes you gotta take an ass whooping. Sometimes you need an ass whooping to bring you back to reality, to bring everything back in perspective, right? God damn it, the Lions just scored. Yeah, I know. So, I mean, there's still a lot of time left in the game, but uh, it is, but still. Sometimes, sometimes you need an ass whooping. Now, look, I don't know about anybody else, but I'm, I'm really looking forward to the Chargers game this week. And, you know, I want to be able to see how Charles Amenahue looks this week with that defense again this week, I hope. I, I got a funny feeling he's going to look, you know, better. Things are going to be a little bit more, more, smooth, more smoother, excuse me. Uh, I want to see what Pacheco looks like. I want to see if Andy Reid runs the ball more this week. Be better. Bro, they, the Chargers have given up. The Chargers have given up the last three weeks. They're averaging 153 rushing yards a game. That's what they're giving up. Yeah. Can we please get a healthy dose of Kareem and Pacheco? Maybe throwing a little, Shit. throwing a little steal here, or maybe a little, a little steal here, man. You know, I, I'll take a little bit it's of wild. that. It's wild. So you have four running backs on the on the active roster. Yeah. You're not running the ball. That yeah. Doesn't make sense, bro. I'd like to see that. I would like to see that. Uh, I want to see Humphreys. I want to see what he looks like. And, you know, I, I really think that we need one of these games where the offense just comes out and just dominates. The, the only reason why I agree is because I want everybody to just shut up about this goddamn point differential. I don't, I don't necessarily need it my nerves. I don't necessarily need it for that. You know what I need it for? I want the offense to get on track to the point where they say, okay, it's... Well, it's yeah, you want it to get some... It'll build some confidence. Too. Yes, All it'll right. build some confidence. Guys will understand, okay, we're not off. We just were missing a couple pieces that were going to help us down the line. And if everybody can stay healthy and we can keep all these pieces together... We will be a force to be reckoned with when we go into the playoffs. And that's all you want to be able to do is make it to the playoffs healthy. Try to make sure that you retain the number one seed and do some, how should I say, calculated movements to make sure that, hey, if I don't have to play my starters all the way up to week 17 because we got control of the you know, the number one seed in the AFC, then I won't do it. Maybe give my guys a little bit of rest. 
right? Because I mean, that, I'm gonna be honest three with games, you. That three games in 10 days bullshit that the NFL pulled. Oh. Yeah, no. The champions, the NFL champions, three games in 10 days, all because you just got to get the money from primetime or, you know, whatever it is. Yeah, thanks, guys. You did us a favor. No, you didn't. Mm-hmm. <laughs> no, you didn't. Man, yeah. Chris Jones said this, it best. This thing. Yeah, he said it best that, that, that he's going to have a talk with the NFL Players Association oh, yeah, about that, that shit. And it, it does not, it needs to be addressed. That should never happen. What were you Especially saying? Especially that early in the season, too. Yeah. No, uh, Dan Orlowski was saying uh, if the Bills get the one seed and they got to go through Orchard Park to get to North. You got to go through Orchard Park to get to New Orleans. I'm taking the Buffalo Bills. Go ahead. Didn't we have to go there last year? Yep. Go ahead. Now, now granted, it won the AFC Championship, but we still had to go there. Doesn't matter if it was the AFC. It was still a playoff game, wasn't it? Yeah. yeah. That's what I'm saying. I'm still lost. You know, Dion. I think I want to say Dion Dawkins said something similar to that last year. Talking about, well, we've been waiting for them to come. This is, we we got it right where we want it now. Yeah, let, they got to come up here. Yeah, exactly. You know, I'm I'm not saying that the Chiefs we like we can't get be beat because we all know that's not true. What I'm saying is, is sometimes it's better to be humble than it is to be good. Sometimes it's hum- it's better to be humble. And lucky that it is to be good. You know, you know what's so crazy? The Chiefs don't even be, they don't be even doing They don't that. talk. They don't talk. They don't talk. They don't really talk crazy about their opponents. They I think that's be, part of the reason Mahomes, why people, I think that's part of the reason why people yeah, hate Mahomes, the Chiefs. Bro, Mahomes don't be out here like, no, you other quarterbacks are trash. You know what I'm saying? I'm number one. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know what you just, dog shit. you know when you y'all, said it? Y'all, y'all wish. Y'all when you wish said I it could just be now? in my, in my, my, my lane. I got more rings than every quarterback in the league right now, which you know, is very true. You know what's funny, though? When you said it like that, it reminded me of... Uh, it reminded me of uh, Death Row when Suge Knight came out on stage for the awards at the Source Awards. He said, if y'all <laughs> want to be, you know, with a, with a label that... You know the man, the 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 CEO or the manager is not all in the video. All in the video. <laughs> 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 no, I'm just saying though, like the way bro, you said it. You know though, the only the only quarterback, the only quarterback that has rings <laughs> outside of Mahomes is Matthew Stafford. Yeah, right That's now. It. Yeah, true. Right, right now. now. Yeah, you don't worry about nobody else you don't has rings. About the, you don't want to worry about the the producer all in the all in the video dancing. It's like it's like what you just said. You know, it's like you know you other you other quarterbacks in the league. Man, y'all suck. Hey, if you're a wide receiver, and you want to catch deep balls. The pause, <laughs> pause, 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 pause. <laughs> <If> you, <laughs> you gotta chill, you man. Want, I'm and, done. You want, and you want a Super Bowl? Come to KC. You know, it, it's it, that's what it reminded me of right there. <laughs> so that is terrible. <laughs> anyway, no, I'm just saying I'm I'm at the point now where it is laughable. Most of the shit that everybody's talking, I've seen so much shit on TikTok, man, and it is utterly ridiculous. The amount of uh, the amount of stupid. Bro, shit you know what's so ironic. See. You know, you know, you know what's so games. ironic? What? The same people that are saying this shit is rigged and how the rig is rigging it for the Chiefs are the same people that are saying that Chiefs are going to get bounced out in the first round. <laughs> They're the same ones who are fucking still betting on the games, Bro. too. They're the same stupid motherfuckers. Still. <laughs> Wait a minute. If you said the game is rigged, right, but yet you bet against the Chiefs, but you, the Chiefs were favored. Why would you bet against if it's rigged? Why? If it's rigged and oh. you bet against the Chiefs to lose, hey. but, but yet you're saying it's rigged, so that means they were going to win anyway. What are you doing? <laughs> hey, man, my boy Omar, the Packers fan, hey, oh, he be betting. He be betting. He be betting on Mahomes to get like two touchdowns. And Mahomes, he doesn't get the two touchdowns, right? And he's done it multiple times. He'll call Mahomes dog shit and be like, 
so-called best quarterback in the league can't even get two touchdowns. This nigga trash. But I'm like, bro, why do you keep betting on him to get two touchdowns? Who's the real idiot here? <laughs> like, bro. Oh, uh, you know. If, my, he's, <laughs> if he's dog shit and he can't get two touchdowns, why are you still betting on him getting two touchdowns, bro? This shit is ass wow. and high. This shit is ridiculous. <laughs> and, you know, a fool and their money will soon part. It's just. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, shout out to Omar, man. That, that's my guy. Man. He, that's that's just funny. funny to me, man. I, I'm just <laughs> saying, you know, this is the type of shit we have to hear all the time. And listen, I'm not. I'm clowning because some of the stuff is comical. The, it's just, it makes no sense to me. And I'm sorry. I have to be a rational person and I have to think, you know, that. <sighs> listen. The. Sometimes, you know, you, you catch all the breaks. Sometimes you don't, right? Some people are lucky, some people ain't, right? But that's just life, right? And even with me, you know, I don't get all the views I want. God knows I want more, but <laughs> that's the bounce, right? That's just how the cookie crumbles sometimes. Sometimes you, the, bounce, the ball bounces your way, sometimes it don't, right? But I don't say it's because you know youtube got it in for me they don't like me they're all against me they, they scared of me to be great no it's just it's not what it is it's, it just didn't happen who knows maybe it happens later and that's the how how football is sometimes your team is great sometimes your team is trash lord knows the chiefs have went through plenty of trash seasons Plenty of trash seasons. I was telling, right I was telling now, my people in the Twitter time. space. I was telling my people in the Twitter space. I said, because we were talking about Madden, right? Yeah. And my, my boy in the space was like, "Hey, you, you can't pick the Chiefs. That's cheating." And he was like, "Nah, never mind. That's your team." So like, and I'm like, yeah. I was gonna pick them anyway. After all the trash teams I had to pick on the Chiefs all them other years with trash ass quarterbacks and trash ass teams, yeah, I deserve this. I played. And I a deserve lot of, to be able to pick. <laughs> I played a, a lot of seasons team. with trash. Exactly. Ass, you know, teams that Madden didn't that, do right. All we had, all we had was Jamal Charles. That was it. Yeah, <laughs> I remember that two and fourteen <laughs> season. That, oof, that was hard. Man. That was hard. I remember. That's when, so I said the only price <laughs> fight was Jamal Charles. That was it. Yeah. I remember, when, offense. I remember when Eric Berry went out and we found out he had cancer, you know, uh, that that was hard. You know, I, I remember when uh, Cookie Belcher did the thing he did in the parking lot there and how tragic that was. I remember all the man, shit that's happened. Man, I forgot. I, I no, remember I all of this shit. About that. You know what I'm saying? No. I, I, we I, watched, I never forgot about that. Yeah, we, we've watched a bunch of shit, a bunch of crap. Sometimes it's your team's. Sometimes it's your team's time. Sometimes you know, you know. Look at Detroit right now. Detroit has been bro. bad for years. Bro, they are one of the worst organizations in football. No, no they, okay. I give them. They do. I give them their props right now. Yeah. They seem to get their stuff together. They got a good GM right now. And they good got a coach. good coach. Yeah. yeah so, so yeah. Credit where credit is due, but before that, yeah. Culture. Yeah. And I will never forgive y'all. For, for what y'all did to Megatron and Barry Sanders. And Barry especially. I will never forget it. Especially Barry. Yeah. Shout out to Barry Sanders, hometown hero. So, Straight up. when it comes down to it, like I said, it's, we got to stop with this. We, please, please, let's use our brains, people. Let's quit thinking the way we think when it comes, just because we don't like something. Hey, hey look. I don't, look, I don't I don't I don't know if the Chiefs is gonna repeat, but I don't know. But if they do <laughs> Nobody can read the, nobody can see the future, man. Nobody. No, of course not. Of course not. But I'm just saying if they do, oh y'all gonna hate me. I'm gonna be all Twitter, YouTube, Facebook. TikTok. Uh, I don't even get on TikTok. TikTok. Maybe maybe that's why they hate Blue Sky. us. Maybe that's why they hate us. Maybe that's why they hate the <laughs> Because man, you name it. But bro, you want to talk about talk? You want you want to talk about talking shit? Don't be talking. <laughs> that's that's bragging rights for life. You know how much I can brag the rest of my life? 
Even, even if we don't yeah. lose, him, even if we don't win another Super Bowl. Yeah, true. That's All I can very be like, true. it's free heat. Yeah, free heat. That's it. It's very true. I mean, it's it's something that no other team has done. Nobody else has ever done a three-peat in the Super Bowl era. Nobody. You know, uh, I think people are losing sight of that, too, though. Because, like, people are talking about the Chiefs' issues. Yeah. And how they're not really playing like how they think they should. But, man, what they're trying to do is, is not easy. Like, this, this is something that nobody's ever done before. And, like I was telling you, I think the team is fatigued. I think them getting this little break that they have right now where they get a little extra few days... It's going to be huge for them. And if, especially if they get the buy for the yeah. number one seed, that's going to be big. It'll be big. Uh, Green, Green Bay uh, just tied the game up 31 apiece with three minutes and uh, some change. Like 3.30, I think it is. Uh, so it's coming come down on defense. to the wire. It's coming down to the wire. Come on, uh, Green Bay. you you got to remember one thing. <clears throat> as, a, as a fan of any team, you know, even if you're – I wouldn't give a damn if you're a fan of – the Giants. I remember when the Giants were good. I remember when Parcells was there and that team was a force to be reckoned with, right? And I remember how people did not like the Giants, stuff like that. I I mean, you got to think about it. it. Every team gets this chance at some point or another, right? Has it happened for every team as of yet? No, but eventually the ball kind of bounces that way, you know? It's going to happen, you know, and it just has, it just so happens to be that this is the Chiefs time. And so that's why I said, you know, it makes no sense for us to make these wild, you know, accusations or wild as, you know, conspiracy theories that we put out there. Right. And and it kind of just, you know, it kind of ruins it sometimes. I mean, it's funny. Some of the shit is hilarious. I'm I'm sorry. It it is. No, it's just, you know. The thing that happened with the Chiefs last week where everybody was talking about this whole thing about how, you know, that was a false start. They should have got the ball back. People don't know what they're talking about. And I'm like, wait a minute. It's it's an illegal shift. The receiver wasn't lined up, bro. No, none of the receivers really were lined up. The whole team was not set yet. They were not set yet. So therefore, that's an illegal shift. That's an illegal shift. If they're not set yet, that's an illegal shift. The problem is that people don't understand the rules. And they're talking about, well, the ref came in and said illegal proceed, you know, false start. Yeah, that's why they cancel together. Because the other two refs are looking and saying, hey, no, your other wide receivers, both of them, were not set yet. They were still moving. So therefore, before the ball was snapped, that means it's an illegal shift. And I keep thinking to myself, you want to know why this happened? You want to know why your team is bad? You want to know why they made this mistake? Look at the film. That'll tell you everything you need to know, but you know what you do? You run with shit. One guy and you know says what's it, crazy? and then everybody, it's got to be They regurgitate, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they regurgitate other shit that people are saying. You know, you know what's crazy? crazy? People, people <sighs> complaining about these, uh, like, you know, these one score games and stuff like that. Yeah. How many, uh, how, how, how many Bill or uh, Bengals fans would have loved to win those one score games they was in? Man, say that again, Mike. Say that again because they would be, they would be in the hunt in the for playoffs. the playoffs, right? Say that again. How many, how many times how many? would the Bengals love to have a one point or a close win? And right now, that means that against they would, the against, against the Chiefs, they only lost by uh, what was it, three points? Hell, they didn't lose by much to any of the teams. Look, it was a one possession no, game it wasn't against just, the Ravens. Yeah, it was a one possession game Ravens. against. Yeah, they they didn't lose by many points to any of these teams. Just saying, and, and I can even know, argue that for some, some of the Ravens, Ravens losses as well. Yeah, they only lost to the Browns by three. They lost to the Chiefs by a fucking toenail. I'm just saying, this is why I said it's sometimes what happens to us is that we get so enamored. But you know what's crazy? If it was the opposite, if this was flipped and the Chiefs were losing by these one score, you know, and these one score situations, you know what they'd be saying? The Chiefs don't know how to finish games. Exactly. <laughs> and they don't know how to win close games. But That's it's exactly because, what they would be saying right but now. But it's because it's it's because what they need is they need to be able to sell you on their network so you'll come back and watch right it's that's what it is they need to be able to sell you a narrative so you'll come back and watch 
people don't want to hear that bullshit. And the ones that do, I think they're pretty much a lost cause anyway. They're desperate to hear something about their team. They're desperate for their team to win something. And that's that's what being a fan is all about. You, you're fanatical, right? But damn, do you really got to go to this extreme to make up these kinds? The last thing I heard was that Taylor Swift was the reason the Chiefs were winning because of her demonic hell forces. <laughs> no, people are. No, people are. This Travis, is my thing. If you hey, believe, Travis, if Travis, you believe if you these see things this, are happening, if you see this, I did not say that. I'm just repeating what was said, and I'm telling you guys, this is the kind of shit I hear all the time, and I'm like, you got to be kidding. You gotta be. They talking about they talking about they doing that because they want Taylor Swift to make their, Taylor Swift is making the NFL you know more money, but she would be making them more money regardless if they lost or not because of her presence. That I mean, doesn't make hey, them wait. winning doesn't that doesn't even make sense. Though. I mean, here's my question: Are they making money off of her because she's performing or something? I mean, or is it just because no. she's in the crowd? I don't even, that's what I'm saying. I don't even know. They're, Maybe they, they get more viewers because Taylor Swift I, fans are. Yeah. Of course you I are. Hell, if I mean, if anybody was that famous and they were at, at an event, of course you're going to get more eyes because they got a following. They got a following. But the NFL has been big, big, way before Taylor Swift ever came around, right? This was not something that was planned by the NFL. Can we please stop this? And that's the thing. Can we please bro, stop it? The NFL, I, bro, I don't it. think the NFL needs help making more money. Oh, bro, I seen somebody. Let everybody else tell it. Bro, yes, they do. Bro, I seen somebody talk about because you know Kendrick had a performing at the Super Bowl, right? Yeah. But this dude, he's saying he was like, uh, and I know it's kind of unrelated, but he was like, uh, he was like, I don't know why. He was like, I don't, if I was Kendrick, I'd be pissed off because they got Beyonce performing a few months before the Super Bowl at the halftime on Christmas, and I was like. What does that got to do with Kendrick? But he was like, well, Beyonce is going to be uh, way bigger than what the Super Bowl was. And I'm like, nigga, are you dumb? You think the, the halftime show on Christmas is going to be bigger than the Super Bowl halftime show? Apparently, they never watched it. Nigga, are you? Are you he, he said, he said, nigga, this is Beyonce. And I'm like, the girl in the video, she was like, nigga, it's the Super Bowl. And he was like, well, Beyonce is bigger than the Super Bowl. Oh Nigga, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, she's not. No. I, oh, this... I don't think anybody is bigger than the Super Bowl. These poor people. Bro, because the dude brought up the stats. He was like, the halftime show averages like, you know, 29 million on Christmas. Yeah. The Super Bowl halftime show is like 117 million people. <laughs> So you could double oh. Beyonce. Well, let, let's just give Beyonce because Beyonce is big, right? Yeah, of course she Let's say she, she doubles that. She, she, let's, let's say she doubles that. Okay, so it's she 60 does million. sixty million. Yeah, it's not one hundred and seventeen million, nigga. Bro, <laughs> people are dumb. Listen, all I can tell you is right now, I am at my point of you know. I'm, it's like it's a lost cause, right? You know, you, you can't tell anybody anything. You can talk to them all day, and that's fine. But we are, we're talking about being a fan, right? Sometimes a fan, I guess, is, you know, like I said, it's fanatical. And sometimes we do believe crazy shit, you know? There's, there's, there's players who believe in, you know, you know, superstitions, I guess. So I guess it's okay to, you know, believe in, you know, conspiracy. I can't say that. It's not. It's not. Man, I, I don't know. Because people. I lie. Because I feel like. <laughs> it's not. We, we're hardcore Chiefs fans. I don't think we'd be saying, like, out, outlandish shit. Like, no, you have to be, be. You have to be. Like, realistic. you got to be realistic. Yes, you have yeah, to be. Yeah, I think we're pretty realistic. Yeah, you know, I, I'll put it like this. I would love to be able to say I got a chance to be Patrick Mahomes. But, in all reality, I know it will probably never happen I would love to fucking hit the lottery but in all Man. reality it will never happen you know and it's not because I mean I wouldn't say never 
in all reality, it will probably never happen. There's always zero point one percent. There's always a possibility. I mean, anything's possible, but the probability of it happening is like very, 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 very unlikely to fucking happen. Yeah, so it's listen. Nobody ever thought Detroit would ever be good. Look what's happening. Detroit is a good team. They are a good franchise right now. They have proven it over the last two seasons that they are forced to be dealt with. Look, it can happen. It can happen. I remember when Tampa Bay Buccaneers weren't shit for a long time. Them creamsicle fucking uh, jerseys and shit. Miami? Well, when's the last no, time Miami was actually good besides like recent? Not Miami's been dog shit. No. Like, terrible. But I mean, Browns. but Miami was winning championships back in the, you know, the 70s. But I remember when when the Tampa Bay Buccaneers came in as a, you know, uh, expansion team, they were horrible. Nobody and, and they were bad for a long time, a long time. Nobody thought that that team was ever going to be good. But I mean, eventually things happen. They do happen. You just got to, you know, give it time. Right? I so, agree. Um, I mean, the right. Chiefs. Well, I don't think anybody as a Chiefs fan thought this was going to happen. No, nobody. With Mahomes and shit. Nobody. We didn't see this coming. coming. No, we never. We didn't picture that. I mean, we thought it was a possibility that we could be good, but we didn't know that we would be good. Good. A dynasty. Where we're, yeah, we're your dynasty. Nobody. We thought maybe we could get close and win a championship one day. And well, here it is. All these years later we're possibly you know on the verge of winning a, a three p i mean nobody we weren't talking about that shit nobody was, was talking, just talking about, about getting one. one just getting one and at least being competitive <laughs> so right. no there's a minute 42 seconds left to go in the game the lions that. the lions have the ball <sighs> it's I don't know what's going to happen. I mean, I want to say they're in, I want to say they're in field goal range right now, but I'm not for sure. They took a timeout. And I, I think the Lions took, I can't for sure, I can't tell for sure. I think the Lions did take a timeout, but um, I'm trying to finish this game out while we're online here together and uh, see how this turns out. Because I really, really would like for the Packers to win this game. You know? Yep. Would really like to see them, you know, split this season series between them. This, this, this would be nice to see. My boy Dreamus, he's a big Packer fan as well. What up, Dreamus? What's happening? I like. Anyway. I want to go for the. I want to go for the Packers, but then again, I want them to. I don't want to, but since they're playing Detroit, yeah. Yeah, I think. Yeah, I think they might. I think they might want to. Yeah, I mean, Raj just got up. I think he just got a first down. Oof, man, it's 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 hard to play against them, against the Lions because they do have a lot of weapons, especially with the backfield that they have. Uh, it does make it hard to play against them. Amon Ra is a very good receiver. He is very. They're good. at Green Base. They're at Green Base thirty-seven right now. Yeah. Yeah, Amon Ra got away. Yeah, I mean, Rod got away with a little push there. Uh, yeah. And watch him win by a field goal, bro. I mean, you know, like you said, a win is a win, right? You but know? no, but no. I want to hear about how they only won by three points. Well, that'll be the second game in a row, wouldn't it be? Wouldn't mm-hmm. that be because the other week it was because Chicago, Chicago. you know, they they only lost by a field goal, right? On some flu shit. That yeah. Crazy. I can't believe that shit. I'm still, uh, I, you know, that like, looks terrible. <laughs> that is, uh, I can't believe he did that. I can believe it. I can believe it. Maybe not to that extreme, you know, that yeah, you know, no much way. of a mistake. Maybe getting it down to 10 seconds and then calling timeout and whatever, you know, but he didn't even, man, he didn't even give his team a, a team a chance, really. So that yeah, is terrible. We'll see. We'll see what happens. 
other than that, like I said, we, we're trying to finish out this game. I want to be on here. Uh, you guys are going to see this video late. This video is going to go out. This content will be on Saturday, right? Uh, we try to record once a week. We do tend to put the content out on Saturday. And we kind of, you know, try to get everything together, you know, but it's hard. You know, people, I don't know if anybody else understands this. It's hard to put content together. It's hard to edit. It's hard to do these things. And you have to have time to do it. And we both work. <laughs> and I'm old. <laughs> I am old. So, uh, it's fourth down. They're at the, what, 20 and a half yard line, looks like. They, I mean, they're in, they're in field goal range. I mean, if they kick this, I mean, the Packers still don't have some time left. Shit, they haven't called a timeout no, yet. And you said it's fourth down, so I don't think they're going to go yeah, for it. Yeah, it's fourth and inches. Kick the field goal. Yeah, they're going to kick the field goal. Oh, it's fourth, and, fourth and inches, though? Yeah, Ooh. but the Packers have no timeouts. I mean, shit, with a minute 31, you can work with something. That's 46 seconds left. Oh, I must be behind it. Oh, oh yeah, you're behind, buddy. And why the app, when the website that damn slow? Damn. <laughs> yeah, you're a little behind no there. 43 seconds left. Uh, they took a timeout with one second left on the play clock. Uh, Detroit is going Trying to. Trying to get them off sides. Yeah, well, I don't think they're going to. It's fourth and one. I think they're going to. Uh, they, I mean, they they could, they could, but I think they're going to wind up kicking the. Damn, Bleacher Report is even behind. That's crazy. What? Oh, man, I got that good internet right now. <laughs> oh, that's saying it's a minute, thir a minute nineteen still. Forty three seconds, dude. Yeah, they're gonna kick the goal. Bleacher Report is behind. That's crazy. Yeah. Jake Bates, Jake Bates, the kicker for Detroit. He's gonna try to give them the lead. Man, uh, miss wait, it. wait, 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 nope, nope. They brought their offense back out on the field. Detroit, maybe they are gonna try. To, maybe they will try to pull them off sides. They still, I think it's Detroit. One, yeah, they yeah, Detroit has this fourth and inches. Detroit still has two timeouts. Oh, they ran the. Oh, Man, he they gonna get Oh, he got it. Oh, he fell as he was handing the ball off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Did he get the first down? He got the first down. He got the first down. Montgomery wound up uh, getting the first down. Damn. Yep. 25 seconds left. They're going to run this clock down. They're going to call another timeout and get the field goal. Yeah. yeah. Goff just went off the field. <laughs> wow. Yeah, he was falling to the ground. He tripped over his, uh, yeah, it looked like he tripped over the left guard's foot or he got pinned up underneath his foot, but he got the ball Man, off to Montgomery. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> that defensive line should be a shame. So. <clears throat> yeah, that was uh, Glasgow. They, I mean, they had a chance to win it, but they, oh, yeah, he was, yeah, he was, I thought he was going to be done. <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna send you something. Oh, yeah? Is it a check? Yeah, you funny. <laughs> oh, shit. I figured I might as well ask. <laughs> it's something better. Better than a check? <laughs> well, no, I think that's right. It's okay. close. Well, a winning lottery ticket. No. <laughs> you said that's better? basically a check. You I said, said You said it was better. Boom, 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 boom. Listening to some music. I figured I'd send it to you. Yeah, it started playing. What is this? I warn you, really. <laughs> hey. They brought golf back out on the field. You Good. see it. Googly moogly. <laughs> <laughs> that is pressure. 
I'm an old man. I can't. I can't be looking Fresh. at. I can't be looking at pictures like that. Pressure. This is terrible. He said pressure. <laughs> Two seconds left to go in the game. Looks like the Lions are going to kick the field goal. Green Bay, man, I was really thinking y'all had it. Well, I mean, you did. You had a chance. Uh, you had a chance, and you fucked it up. <laughs> no, they, we'll see what happens. It's, anything can happen in an NFL game. Anything can happen. Man, block that shit. shit. Pull the Chiefs, man. Pull the Chiefs. Pull the Chiefs, is that what you said? <laughs> Pull the Chiefs. Pull the Chiefs, man. Get it done. Block that bullshit. What if they get a if they got like a block kick and they ran it back for a touchdown? <laughs> hey, I'm calling it right now. Oh block shit. Block kick. Block field goal kick yeah. for a touchdown score. Win the game. Call That'd be amazing. Right that would be amazing. Nope. And Call it's it. good. Detroit Damn. wins the game. So I, I'm not going to see nothing about on ESPN about how Detroit barely beat the Green Bay Packers by three points. No. No, you won't. You know why? Because <clears throat> it's not the Chiefs. <laughs> you have a point. It's not the Chiefs. Oh. Uh, 11 straight wins for the Detroit Lions, which is the longest streak in their team history. They clinched a playoff berth tonight. So, well, it was good. I enjoyed watching the game. I enjoyed being able to watch it simultaneously as we did the show. I hope that everything that I'm thinking about this weekend game with the Chargers, with the Chargers, it, you know, I hope we see a lot of the things happen as far as the offense. I hope those things come to fruition. And I really, really hope that we go on this, you know, a little run here where we, the offense starts, you know, moving really fluidly, you know, that'd be nice to see. So anyway, we want to say good night to everybody. Thank you guys for joining us. Like I said, you guys will see this video um, uh, after the the game has already been played, but we want to thank everybody who has joined us on the channel. It is a little bit longer of a uh, video today. Um, so if you made it to the very end, thank you guys. If you didn't, I was going to say something vulgar, but I'm not. But <laughs> anyway, we want to say thank you guys. And if you haven't, hit that subscribe button. Check us out. We have other content that's available on the Cavecast. And we hope you join us next week. We'll be back doing the same thing again, talking a little and maybe laughing at your team or, you know, maybe maybe we're crying because something <laughs> happened to, you know, somebody's team and, you know, the conspiracy theories will start coming out again about how we're paying the refs or some shit like that. Bro, I seen a dude. I seen a dude say that Chiefs pay the refs to, fumble, to throw that fumble snap. He's like they pay. pay uh, what's that quarterback's name? Uh, Aiden O'Connell. Yeah, he's like they paid him to just not look at the ball. Uh, yeah, it's it's like it's sort of like where the I seen the ref jump out of from nowhere on the off on the defensive line to block that field goal against the Broncos. <laughs> Man, exactly. <laughs> this it's ridiculous. Like how you going how you gonna rig a field goal block, bro? You know how hard that is to do even yeah. if you time tried to like do it on purpose? I don't know, but they apparently believe it's possible. All right. All right. It it is possible, I guess. <laughs> right. Oh well. anyway, we wanna say thank you guys. We hope you uh stay for the whole video. And like I said Join us next week. We'll be back. We have a lot of things we want to talk about still. The season still got a lot of big games left to play, especially for the Chiefs. We got four of our next five teams are in the playoff hunt right now or in contention for the playoffs. So uh, it's going to be it's gonna be a wild season, wild ending to this season. So we'll see what happens. Yeah, with that Chiefs three-peat. You already yeah. know. I sure hope so. All right, fellas. It's been real. 
I'm gonna take my ass to bed. Jaden's waiting for me to get off of here. He's like, Dad, get off the computer. You're killing my bandwidth. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm out. All right, y'all take it easy.